For China's leaders, infrastructure has never been just about roads or trains. It's about rewriting the nation's story. Once mocked as the sick man of Asia, China now seeks to prove that era is dead and buried, replaced by a towering symbol of global power built from concrete, steel, and ambition. Since the 1990s, Beijing has followed a simple but aggressive formula – build fast, build big, and worry about the cost later. Where others debated feasibility studies for years, China broke ground in months. Roads sliced through mountains, tunnels burrowed under cities, and rivers were bent to the will of hydroelectric giants. Each new structure wasn't just functional, it was a statement. For the Communist Party, these mega-projects serve as a constant reminder to both citizens and rivals that China has arrived. Skyscrapers rise where farmland once stood. High-speed railways zip across vast provinces in hours, and dams harness nature itself. In the eyes of the party officials, every bridge and bullet train adds another brick to the Great Wall of modern China. But China's ambitions don't just stop at the water's edge. Dozens of countries now depend on Chinese-built ports, highways, and power grids, creating deep financial and political ties that serve Beijing's long game. Domestically, these projects have fueled rapid urbanization, created millions of jobs, and fed China's massive export machine. For a country that once struggled to modernize, infrastructure has become the engine of both pride and profit. But behind the gleaming skyscrapers and polished rail stations, cracks may already be forming. And that's where the real gamble begins. Beneath China's soaring ambitions lies a collection of projects that seem almost surreal, as if ripped straight from a futuristic sci-fi novel. These structures are colossal symbols of a nation determined to reshape both its landscape and its destiny. Imagine stepping onto a train in Beijing and just a few hours later stepping off in Shanghai, covering a distance of over 1,300 kilometers faster than most people drive across a single city. That's the daily reality made possible by China's high-speed rail network. Stretching over 40,000 kilometers, it's long enough to wrap around the entire planet, making it the largest such network on Earth. But China didn't just stop at home. Its trains are now racing into global markets, exporting high-speed rail technology to countries like Indonesia, Thailand, and even parts of Europe. The promise is speed, efficiency, and connectivity. But critics quietly wonder whether the steel web can remain financially viable over time or if it's racing toward an unsustainable future fueled by debt. The ambition doesn't end with trains either. Water, one of China's most critical shortages, has triggered another massive engineering gamble. Northern China, home to megacities like Beijing, face chronic water scarcity while southern regions sit atop abundant river systems. To fix this imbalance, China has undertaken a mind-bending feat, diverting vast quantities of water northward through an elaborate system of canals, tunnels, and pumping stations that span thousands of miles. The South-North Water Transfer Project slices through mountains, crosses deserts, and defies nature's own design. Entire communities have been uprooted to make way, and delicate ecosystems have been reshaped possibly forever. It's a breathtaking act of human willpower, but also a dangerous game of environmental roulette. Can a nation truly reorder its rivers and avoid triggering unintended consequences decades down the line? Perhaps the most iconic symbol of this bold new era stands like a colossus across the Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Dam. Towering over one of the world's most powerful rivers, this dam doesn't just generate over 80 terawatt hours of electricity each year. It tames deadly floods and opens new shipping routes deep into China's interior. Yet for every light it powers, there's a deeper, darker cost. Entire cities now lie submerged under its vast reservoir. Millions of people have been displaced, and ancient cultural sites vanish beneath the rising waters. Seismologists still debate whether the dam's enormous weight could destabilize fault lines and awaken hidden earthquakes. The question hangs uncomfortably in the air. Has China created a monument to safety or a silent, looming threat? And then there's the glittering bridge that slices across the South China Sea. 
linking Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau like a silver thread. At 55 kilometers long, it's the world's longest sea crossing bridge tunnel system, an engineering marvel that connects massive economic zones with astonishing efficiency. But its gleaming surface masks years of cost overruns, tragic construction accidents, and maintenance challenges that no one fully understands yet. This structure is a breathtaking symbol of unity and progress, but also a quiet reminder of just how thin the line can be between triumph and hubris. Through all these projects, one question whispers beneath the concrete and steel. Can China's astonishing engineering feats truly stand the test of time, or are they just racing toward a future where ambition outpaces caution? We can admit China's got some bold dreams, but how much can one nation afford to build? On paper, the scale is staggering. When you peel back the layers of official numbers and include hidden debts taken on by local governments and state-owned companies, China's total debt now towers at over 300% of its GDP. It's an eye-watering figure that rivals or even exceeds some of the most indebted nations on Earth. And while the cranes keep swinging and the concrete keeps pouring, many of these projects struggle to attract the bustling activity they were built to support. Because scattered across provinces are eerie reminders of this gamble. Ghost cities with gleaming skyscrapers, but no residents. Empty train stations waiting for passengers who never arrive. And six-lane highways leading to nowhere. Some of these mega-projects, once hailed as engines of unstoppable growth, now sit half idle, waiting for demands that may take decades to materialize, if it ever does. Local governments, desperate to show growth and keep employment high, often borrow heavily to fund these grand visions, betting on long-term returns that remain frustratingly out of reach. The assumption seems simple. If you build it, they will come. But what if they don't? Financial analysts have begun to whisper warnings of a swelling debt bubble, one that could rupture if China's economic growth stumbles. The logic is circular and dangerous. As long as growth continues, debt can be managed. But the moment growth slows, those towering obligations don't just disappear. They become crushing weights that threaten to destabilize the entire financial system. For now, the giant state-owned banks keep the money flowing propped up by the deep pockets of Beijing's central government. But beneath this carefully controlled surface lies an uncomfortable truth. Perpetual growth is a fantasy few economies have ever achieved. And if that fantasy breaks, the world may witness one of the most expensive collapses in modern history. Yet, even if the financial risks weren't enough to make policymakers nervous, nature itself might be the biggest wild card in China's engineering gamble. Many of these colossal projects push the limits of what the Earth is willing to tolerate. Beneath the polished tracks of the high-speed rail, engineers battle unstable soil conditions that threaten to shift, crack, or even collapse the tunnels and viaducts that sneak across thousands of miles. The bridges that link cities across vast waters sit delicately atop soft seabeds, where constant monitoring is not a luxury, but a simple necessity. One small shift could set off maintenance nightmares or worse. And then, there's the Three Gorges Dam, China's towering symbol of ambition. Few like to speak too loudly about the fact that it rests near active seismic fault lines. And if the unthinkable were ever to happen, a failure of that scale wouldn't just affect power grids or shipping lanes. It would send walls of water crashing downriver swallowing entire towns and endangering millions of lives in mere hours. You could say the stakes are terrifyingly high, and yet the dam remains proudly standing, as much a testament to human confidence as to human vulnerability. Beyond the structural dangers lie environmental costs that may only fully reveal themselves years down the road. Rerouted rivers disrupt delicate ecosystems. Fish populations that once thrived now struggle or vanish altogether. Farmlands once fertile have been sacrificed to carve out water transfer routes. Salinity levels creep upward. Pollution quietly spreads. Each engineering victory comes with a quiet price tag, stamped not in dollars, but in damaged ecosystems and lost biodiversity. 
And as the climate shifts in unpredictable ways, these carefully calibrated structures may one day face stresses their designers never even imagined. The question lingering underneath it all is brutally simple. How long can even the mightiest of structures stand when nature starts to push back? While China's domestic megaprojects stretch across its own vast landscape, their ambitions don't stop at the nation's borders. Through the sprawling Belt and Road Initiative, Beijing has essentially exported its infrastructure model to the world stage. Highways carve through African jungles, ports rise along the Indian Ocean, railways snake into Eastern Europe, and power plants light up corners of South America that previously sat in darkness. Over 140 countries have signed on, eager for development and investment, while China positions itself as the builder of the modern world. If this vast web of concrete, steel, and capital holds together, China could command an unprecedented level of global influence, not just economically, but politically. Nations reliant on Chinese-funded ports or railways might find themselves aligning closer to Beijing's interests, voluntarily or otherwise. The leverage could frankly be enormous, but not everyone is so happy about it. Whispers of debt traps echo through capitals worldwide, as some recipient nations find themselves struggling to repay the billions they've borrowed. Environmental activists protest projects that threaten fragile habitats. Political upheaval has frozen construction sites in regions where governments have fallen or policy winds have shifted. Meanwhile, China's rivals aren't standing still. Western nations, along with Japan and others, are quietly piecing together alternative funding programs, hoping to offer developing countries an escape hatch from Beijing's financial orbit. This battle isn't just about bridges and railways. It's about who gets to set the rules of the 21st century global economy. And as the world watches, one question is looming. Will China's towering infrastructure empire become the backbone of global power, or will its cracks begin to show? revealing an overextended ambition too large even for Beijing to control. While the world watches, China's infrastructure crusade barrels forward, an audacious experiment unlike anything seen in modern history. And it's not just about bridges and rails, it's about rewriting the rules of global power. The $100 billion price tag is staggering, but for China's leadership, it represents a down payment on future dominance. If these mega-projects succeed, they could vault China to the top of energy markets, transportation networks, and international diplomacy, a sprawling web of influence reaching far beyond its borders. But with every towering dam and glistening rail line, there's a shadow. The financial strain goes heavier with each new project that takes years or decades to turn a profit. Ecological scars may take even longer to reveal their full cost. And as geopolitical rivals step up their own infrastructure investments, the road ahead becomes increasingly complicated. One misstep, one economic slowdown, one environmental disaster could transform this grand vision into one of the most expensive cautionary tales the world has ever seen. For now, China's walking a narrow path, its confidence fueled by past successes, its future hanging on to the delicate balance between brilliant engineering and dangerous ambition. The concrete keeps pouring, and the trains keep racing. But the ultimate question still lingers in the air. Not whether China can build these marvels, but whether the world, nature, and future generations can bear the full weight of what's being built. And that's about it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more updates, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give us suggestions for the next video. We'll see you in the next one.